Hi hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Marcus Fixes Stuff, the show where I teach you how to fix things at home so that you don't have to hire and pay for an expensive repairman. Today we're going to be replacing the passenger side headlight in this 2016 Chevy Traverse. You see there's two headlights here, we're going to be doing this one. But before we get started, I just want to remind you, I'm not a professional. I make repairs at home so that I don't have to pay for expensive repairs. I want you to be able to do the same thing. And at the end of the video, I will show you how much money you will save doing this yourself instead of getting someone else to do it for you. Let's get started. A long time ago, it was easy to change a headlight on a car. Maybe you just took out a couple screws right here or you popped the hood and went in from there. Unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. To get to this headlight, we have to go over here to the wheel well, remove this panel, and then we can have access to the headlight. But before we can do any of that, we have to take the tire off so that we'll have enough space to work. I'm not gonna show you how to take the tire off. Maybe that'll be another video, but for now, we're just gonna use a little movie magic to get rid of it. There we go, movie magic out of the way. Let's get to the headlight. Now that the tire's out of the way, we have all of this room to work. We can now remove this panel, but the first thing we have to do is take these two screws out. Now that is a T20 star bit which we already have ready in our drill. We're gonna back those out so we can get to the headlight. One. Okay, and remember, I like to keep a little cup or a little bowl or something to put your screws in so you don't lose them. So I've never done this job before and now that I have these two screws out, I realize that they are two more screws under the bottom. I'm gonna have to take those out as well, and then hopefully we'll have access to the headlight. I'm pulling the panel back right now, <clears throat> and this little circle, let's see if I can get a good shot of it. It says open and close on it, so we're gonna have to twist it open to get the headlight out. Um, let me show you what I'm doing. See, I'm just pulling the panel back and there's that circle right there. So we're gonna have to reach in there and twist it open to get to the headlight. Probably gonna need two hands for this. I don't have anywhere to put my camera, so I'll be right back. Just to show you what I'm doing, I've got my arm up in there and I'm twisting it off. And there's the cover I was talking about. And now let's see if we can get a good shot in there. We can see that that circle cover is gone and we can reach in there. There's the back of the headlight. There we go. We'll get that off and then we'll put the new headlight on. There's the headlight. I got it pulled out. Um, you just kind of grab that blue label right there, grab all around that square and give it a quarter turn to the left or a quarter turn counterclockwise and it'll just pull right out. So we're going to take that bulb out and we're going to put the other bulb in and I'll probably have to reach my hand up in there again to do that. This is the new bulb. As you can see, it's basic. You can spend a ton of money on these things if you want. This one was, I think, about $13. Um, I've seen them from 10 to 13, depending on where you get them, but you can get them anywhere. Um, you can go a lot higher if you want to get like LED lights or something like that, but this is just a basic light because I just wanted to uh, replace the one that was in there and make it work again. All right, this might be hard to see, but there's a little tab. Let's see if I can get my hand in there. There's a little tab on the back of the light and you're gonna have to, to pry it up uh, in order to get that other light out. Sorry for the crazy camera work. You're gonna have to pull this little tab back here and the light should slide right out. Sorry I couldn't show you me pulling that out but I just could not get the camera in there. But as you can see, the light bulb is gone. We're gonna just snap the other one in and then we're going to do that quarter turn, this time clockwise or to the right to put the bulb back where it goes. And the new bulb is in place. We're gonna put the cover back on the access port and we're gonna put the screws back in place and then we're gonna test it out and see if it works. The bulb is in place. The panel is back on. The tire is back on. Make sure to tighten those lug nuts once you get the jack off of the car. The only thing left to do is test it out and see if it works. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you how much money you will save by doing this yourself instead of taking it somewhere and letting someone else do it for you. After doing some research, I found that the average cost to have this repair done is $120. 
the low end was 100, the high end was 140. So we're just gonna average, average it and say 120. Now I paid $13 for my bulb. Some places have them higher. You can find them cheaper online. Uh, but I just said 15, just kind of stay in the middle. So that gives you a total savings of doing this yourself of $105. Now that's a lot of money, but it also saves you time. It took me, even while making this video, it took me only one hour to change that headlight. And that meant taking that panel off, taking the tire off, doing all that work. If you take it somewhere else, your car is going to be gone probably for a day. So you're not only saving money, you're also saving time. Now let's go see if that headlight works. Here's the moment of truth. Looks like another job well done. Thank you for watching Marcus Fixes Stuff. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video and I will see you again when something else breaks. God bless.